Hello Sugar Plums, welcome back to my channel. Today's DIY is going to be easy, fun, messy and totally beautiful. So I'm going to be showing you how to make some plaster of Paris flowers. Basically, if you're working with sculpture, if you like doing, you know, sculpture stuff and painting and stuff like this, this video is for you. Now, the next few upcoming videos, I'm going to be working with those flowers. So that's why I'm going to be showing you how to make them because it's very detailed how to make them the right way. So we're going to jump into that tutorial now. Now, basically, you're going to need lots and lots and lots of flowers in different type the more the better but keep in mind some flowers are harder to work with than others now if you're a beginner and you know you not you don't feel confident doing this i suggest that you work with roses and the short petal one are the best one okay guys so i have a lot a lot of different of type of flowers um, i'm showing right now and basically what we're gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and cut my flowers and make sure that you leave the stem on them now some of them um may not have like the stem it's fine if you don't have that stem if you can like find like some wire you can put on them that would be better but if you don't have that that's fine also you can make sure that you have like wax paper wax paper will help you uh, to help your uh, you know flower dry uh, without being sticky to anything else so now I'm showing you I had like some leftover uh, flower wire that I use the flower itself and I never throw anything away guys. So I'm using the stem right now as you can see I'm cutting the wire and then I'm sticking it to the some of the flower that those that didn't have any uh, the wire back on it because that's gonna help you when you you know trying to apply the plaster to it it will help you a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all my flowers and some of them I'm not gonna be able to put uh, the wire on it just because you know of the type of flower they are but either way you know I'm gonna be showing you how to work with them so I'm gonna go ahead and prep all my flowers once I finish prepping my flowers I'm gonna be showing you the right way the right way guys to mix plaster of Paris because I've seen a lot of people do it the wrong way and it's not the right way to do it so if you want your your plaster uh, to uh, give you more working time you have to do it the right way because he set uh, the plaster set so fast and you have to have it the right way the right consistency and you know and mix it the right the right way so this is what i'm going to be showing you guys like this is the key basically the whole video is about you know the key how to make the you know the right plaster for you so i'm gonna be using wax paper i also have like a big giant foam i didn't have like any flower foam so i'm using this type of foam but because you have like little holes in it i'm gonna be using wax paper under to catch any drippage so basically we're gonna need plaster of paris and cold water guys is best instead of warm or hot water make sure you use cold water so you're gonna be mixing two to one basically for each cup of water you're gonna need two cup of plaster of paris now but the key is you have to have uh, a little bit more water than what it's recommended to do on the you know the jar so i'm basically gonna go ahead and mix you know the recommended amount but I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I have a little extra more water because I want my um, my mixture to be not thick not too runny it have to be perfectly in the middle almost like a pancake batter you know type of you know consistency that's how you have to make and do it and this is the key right here guys you have to put your water first Put your water in the jar and then add your plaster of Paris to it. But don't go ahead and add it in a way that you're going to just dump it in it. Make sure you add it, you know, little by little. And then once all the plaster sink to the bottom of the water, this is when you're going to go ahead and gently, you know, not right now the video is on speed. That's why it's showing that I'm doing it really fast. But it's not. You have to take your time doing it and then... You know once you have done a very smooth consistency this is when you're gonna start you know dipping your flower to it now I'm showing you how I'm doing like the um, this is a type of roses but it have like a long petal 
those are difficult to work with so i'm suggesting that if you're gonna work with horses maybe use the short pedal ones i'm i'm gonna be showing you a short pedal one in there uh they are better to work with if you never do that baby if you have never done that before then this is make sure when you buy your roses use the short petal one now i'm dipping my flower and i'm making sure that you know all the the mixture is going inside the petal and then now i'm showing you all oh, one way to do it now even though i have the wire on the you know um on the roses now i'm gonna go ahead and just make sure gently put it on my wax paper now remember how you put your uh, flower to dry and it this is how it's gonna harden it's it's gonna be hard the plaster of paris is gonna make it hard as a rock so this is how it's gonna dry and this is the you know the ship it's gonna have so if you it's the best time for you if you're gonna go ahead and move the pedal to move it and put it to dry so the way you put it this is exactly how it's gonna stay now like this one i'm gonna go ahead and show you i'm not gonna put it on the wax paper i'm actually gonna stick it to the foam so you can either do it on the wax paper put it down like this or you can put it on a flower foam or any type of form now you seeing me moving the petal that was falling down this is when you have this is your chance if you're gonna move the petal and you know shape them this is your chance to do it now those are the short petal um roses those are way way more easier for you to work with if you're a beginner again if you're a beginner make sure you get those type of roses the long one the long petal one are a little bit more difficult to work with but those one are the best one so uh, also guys if you have like something you can hang them i didn't have that so i didn't show you that way but you can actually bend the wire and then if you can like hang them hang them down to uh, dry that's a better way also because it will keep the shape of the flower perfectly fine now i'm just gonna go ahead and add a lot of um flowers inside the the mixture just because you know i'm making a lot of flour and the uh, the plaster uh dry really quickly so it's set very very quickly you only have like probably like at to the max 10 minutes to work with it so and once this hardens start to harden you cannot put water in it it's not gonna it doesn't work that way so once it starts to harden that's it so and make sure you use like something that you don't care about because after that you're not gonna be able to use that anymore and even after you uh, finish uh, dipping uh, your flowers to the mixture and even if you have like a little bit left guys make sure you don't put that down your drain because it will clog it so don't make that mistake uh, throw it out so now after uh, my flower dry for like about six to eight hours i let them completely dry for six to eight hours now i'm gonna go ahead and with a second batch but this time i'm making just a tiny little bit and you're gonna need basically the same amount of water with the mixture of uh, plaster basically the two to one the same thing and you're gonna need a small hand brush and basically what I'm gonna be doing right now is just clean up you know uh, the low like uh, places that then like dry with the plaster on it like I'm showing you right now that's why you need a, uh, a brush and I'm just literally painting the plaster on my you know the part that didn't have uh, uh, the plaster on it you know if you have like low breakage going on you can use that if you want to make sure that you put like a or if if you feel like your your flower is not you know doesn't have enough plaster on it you can just go ahead and use it like some of them i'm gonna go actually go with them and then i'm gonna paint uh, the flower again but with my you know paint brush you're using the low plaster as a paint that way you have like a very nice and smooth uh, you know uh, surface on your flower um basically that's all you're gonna be doing now if you want to have your flower to look extremely you know like a plaster plaster looking with like very hard so i made some of them i made to look like this you're gonna need to double dip <laughs> yeah so once it's dry guys you're gonna have to make like a second batch where you can actually dip your flower again on it so that way your flower can give you like a very very hard um plaster looking flower i'll be showing you um like some of them that i had made that with that look now some of those roses um i 
they were fine just like this i love i love them i didn't want them to be like all plaster looking you know like this so i left them like this but one one other tip i can give you guys is um it's best if you're gonna use um the plaster of paris to make this flower try to find white flowers because it will be a lot more better for you to uh if you have a lot more easier for you to, if you have like white flower now i'm showing you after my flowers are completely dry i'm showing you i'm tapping on them they are hard as a rock guys and it's perfect like this i love them now this is the one that i made um and this one is like 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 as you can see it look like very plaster so if you're looking for that look you know the very plaster look like this you have to double dip it now you can see different type of flower i make and they all came out perfectly fine very very beautiful now this flower was a very light yellow so uh it, you, as you can see uh, it came out perfectly fine but if you are gonna work make sure you work with white flower if you if you can now I'm showing you a different way after your flowers is completely dry you can use acrylic paint on them to paint them you can leave them like this uh, like I'm showing you right there now this one is acrylic paint this one is uh, just the plaster just like this I didn't do anything to them uh, to those flowers now you know depend on the look that you're going for basically and then you also uh, can choose the option to spray paint them so I, I choose uh, I made those three um, different options um, uh, to show you uh, the final look of them so but I haven't done anything with most of my flower because those are for the com upcoming video I'm gonna be um, working with them in so keep um, keep posted um, for the next videos that are, that are coming up because i'm gonna be working with those uh flowers i'm gonna be making some beautiful stuff with them now as you can see those uh um, i'm showing right now those are spray paint i basically use like gold and silver spray paint with some uh, glitter on them and as you can see they all came out very very beautiful and as you can see guys you don't have to even if you're using spray paint you don't have to do like just one simple color on it like this one i use gold and silver and then with uh some um both a silver and gold glitter as well and it's so beautiful i really really love this one and um as you can see some other small flowers that i made uh, they come out really and the, the thing with plaster of paris the more it stays the harder it, it gets so you know you can choose how you want to um you know dress them spray paint them leave them like this so use acrylic paint on, on them do whatever you want guys this part is on you so i'm just i was just showing you how to make it the right way so guys i hope you enjoyed this video keep on keep um on the lookout for the next video i'm gonna be posting uh i'm gonna be working i'm gonna be showing you how i work with those flowers that i make and guys if you haven't done so please go ahead and subscribe to my channel don't forget to give me a like on this video um share comment on the on the down below and also don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified on my next videos so guys i love you so so much i will see you next week or very soon for my next video i love you and as always guys be blessed and stay blessed i love you i'll see you soon bye